equally as critical as your mental intellect. You have been taught to turn your mental intellect down and disregard your emotional intellect. That's why it's taking us so long to wake up. Our vibration been low for so long, it's physically painful as our vibration start to rise. And then we resort to shit that don't help us to try to escape the medicine. It's like it's saying in the book, that shit bitter to the mouth, but it feel good to the stomach. Dr. Sabi's solution, you know. Drink this bitter shit, but it's going to clean your ass out and detox you. The truth is the worst thing they want a motherfucker to put out. African concepts say, a thing in and of itself don't have to be true in order for the concept to relay a truism, a true truth so deep that the surface can't grasp, so you have to create a story in order to relay the truth. That's a curious story. When you read some books, they have what you call locks and triggers in them. You study MK Ultra, you'll know what I'm talking about. And these certain books cause certain things to awaken in the individual um, according to their genealogy and genetic memory. When that happened, um, you start to behave according to the information. The information starts driving your your emotive responses because now you are operating off the awakening of a chakra. One chakra alone is not enough to get you where you're trying to go. You got ten of them that need to be awakened. You got ten sephra in order to get to kephra from Malkuf. Malkuf meaning the lowest levels. So when you look at the as above, so below, you got to realize, just like there's a tree of life that takes you into the higher realms, it's a tree of death that drives you into the underworld. This is where we was coming from, the underworld, the dark side of the dark side of light, right? So what do I mean by that? Okay, so like when you look at the moon, at a half moon, half of the moon look light, the other half look dark, but it's still the same moon. Now... The part that look dark, when you're on the moon, it don't look all that dark. But when you were on earth, it looked dark. So what we thought was normal was abnormal. Because we were so close to it, we couldn't see it for what it was. We had to step back. In other words, we had to get off the moon to come to earth to see it split in half. Then we had to go back and gradually move each one of them, Sephra. Until they all line up and they all full moons. So that's ten moons. Right? And so when you look at it like that, it makes sense. Ten moons is a year in a woman's calendar. Not in this Greco-Roman Gregorian Pope calendar. The Ten moons is a year. Ten moons is a year on a woman's calendar. Ten Menstrual cycles is how we used to clock the time. So, I mean, y'all got to see this shit. It's playing out in front of your face. And it ain't behind your back this time. They even showing you these... Look, you got a line of motherfuckers standing up. You got motherfuckers filming. But ain't no motherfucker saying nothing but one little old lonely person. Hey, check his pulse. Make sure the nigga dead. Come on now. I know, I mean, I, I can't do nothing with... That's all they can do is throw interference in when I'm talking to try to keep y'all from seeing what I'm saying. Nah, you ain't never been waiting on voodoo. We ain't been using voodoo because they told us it was evil and Jesus was the way. So don't never think you've been waiting on voodoo. Voodoo been waiting on you. Voodoo don't take long as Christianity to work. It's just that simple. Voodoo don't take, it might take a year. It might, whatever the turnaround, depending on how big the turnaround you're trying to make, it determine how long it's going to take. 
But you can't build a house in, in 15 minutes. You got to take the time to lay the foundation and lay the framework and all that. We ain't been using no goddamn voodoo. We ain't waiting on voodoo. Voodoo waiting on us. All of the ancestors sitting there saying, I don't know why they won't pick up the voodoo jug. That's the only thing them motherfuckers scared of. They ain't scared of your bullets, your bombs. They ain't scared of your nuclear reactors. They ain't scared of nothing but one thing, voodoo. Why you think we ain't been using that shit? Because they told us it was evil, wicked, demonic, satanic. All of the evil terminologies that don't mean shit they tell you they mean to villainize the voodoo, the shit that's going to liberate your ass. They don't want you to use that shit. You ain't been waiting on no motherfucking voodoo, period, ever. Voodoo is going to take care of this shit when you go. Go ahead and continue praying in your white Jesus and Caesar Borg ain't going to help you. You know, Caesar Borg ain't going to help you. But I'm going to tell you this, the Baron going to fix this shit because he don't believe in nothing but balance. And that's all it is to that. And that's the end of that story. Voodoo ain't, you ain't never been waiting on voodoo. You've been running from it. Every motherfucker look like me tripped over each other getting away from the most powerful weapon they had in their arsenal ran each other over and chased each other out to church to keep us from using that shit you don't believe me go ask Tucson that in Haiti he'll talk to you if you go touch your feet to the ground down there it ain't just him it was a whole council most of the motherfucking conjurers is women they don't even tell you that shit Tucson laid it down, but he was he was just the commander. The power came through them sisters down there. And you don't know how voodoo worked, then I can understand why you would be waiting on it because you don't know how it worked. They don't play. We ain't never waited on voodoo. Voodoo been waiting on us. The hoodoo, the Santeria, the, all that shit been waiting on us. We've been so busy chasing this Caesar Borgia. Baptize me in the name of Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where the fuck is the woman in that equation? That, that shit, the first problem with me was why Jesus ain't got no mama. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where in the fuck is the woman? Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit was a male, masculine, disincarnate force. Okay? Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where in the fuck is mama? I wouldn't be here without no mama. I don't know about you motherfuckers. Some of y'all could have been born in the garbage bag or some shit. I was born from a mama. My mama gave birth to me on earth. I don't know what these motherfuckers. Voodoo don't play that shit. You know. Voodoo is black girl magic. I believe in that shit. That shit don't never fail. Voodoo is black girl magic. And the blacker she is, the deeper her roots, and the deeper her roots, the stronger her force. And when she tap into one of us divine masculines that then woke up and can read her motherfucking moves, y'all in trouble. So now I got to tell y'all what's taking place so y'all can understand this shit from your own cultural perspective. We ain't been using our shit. We been using they shit trying to get free from their oppression on their terms. Are you fucking kidding me? I've never seen in the history books, and I never heard a rumor that an oppressor went to the motherfucker he had his foot on and said, here, I'm going to give you this. This is the blueprint for you to escape from under my dominion over you. I ain't never found it yet. So if I haven't found it, that means it's 98% not there. Nobody's ever came to me None of the elders that preceded me said, hey, now this mass over here was a good master because he gave all the niggas a blueprint off the plantation. I ain't never found that. The only thing these motherfuckers that go to a war to stop you from doing is voodoo. They will literally kill themselves to keep you away from doing voodoo, to keep you from going to see the witch doctor. Well, motherfucker, the witch doctor woke. Voodoo is in play, and this shit about to get fixed. That's all I can tell you. I can't, I can't make it no more plainer than that. They fear the truth. They try to cover it up with lies in your face in real time behind your back by using coded language. Part of the voodoo is to find out what the control is. Now that the control trick no good. The control identified. You can't trick a motherfucker if they know what the trick is. 
And I know David Copperfield didn't make the jet disappear. I know David Copperfield didn't make the elephant disappear. I just didn't know the secret to his trick until I found out how the mirrors and the curtains work. Understand me? When I find out how the mirrors and the curtains work, then I know trick no good, motherfucker. There's no sense in me going to a David Copperfield show. He's just an illusionist. He ain't working that real shit. That black girl magic. He nigga. Quiet as it's kept. Shit. Black girl magic siphoned off a little cup of it like this and gave a little here white girl get you some magic and turned her shit on too all you got to do is look back in the history books you always see all of them renowned white ladies under a sister always you'll never see one when she get to talking about um um, square beers and she's talking about hot uh, hot water cornbread and collard greens and shit. Mm -hmm. When you go study her story, you find out that a black lady raised her and taught her how to sing. I mean, goddamn. Um, everywhere you see, look at the slave movies, you see them. And Mammy sitting there holding a little white girl. She's putting a bug in her ear. This shit ain't supposed to be like this, baby. Don't let that motherfucker master over there keep tricking. He tricking you. You just as much a slave as I am. The only difference is you don't look like me. So the white girl analyzed that shit and she agreed with her. And she said, I ain't with this shit either. Then they ran across some of them ones that didn't speak the same language. They called Hispanics with that motherfucking caliente fire. And told them. So they've been passing the secrets among themselves. They ain't, the priestesses know what's up. It's these ignorant mass of people, and I don't mean ignorant in a derogatory sense. I mean, it's just you just fucking don't know something. You just flat out don't know. Right? And, um, because you don't know, it comes back to bite you in the ass. Now, here's what we do at this point. At this point, we watch the shit storm fly. Stay out the way of the turds as they fly across the air. Because this shit about to get wicked in real time. The voodoo done. The conjures done cleaned up from four to nine. All we got left is this shit. Physical. Reality. Manifest. And it's over. Now. I'm about to wrap it up now. Because this, this, this one right here took a lot out of me. Because I really didn't feel like telling nobody shit today. Um, Y'all got to wake up. Y'all can't keep falling for this okie doke ass shit. Um, part of the wake up is become aware that they're going to be killing real motherfuckers in real time if they don't wake up. And that's going to be the shock and awe going to begin when the National Guard start busting them motherfuckers out for looting. It's just that simple. I can't tell it to you no better. It's 1132. That flips 115 and 5 flips 6 and 6 flips 9 on the 911 flip. Towers down. And we out. Keep your eyes open and your ears open. Don't fall for the bullshit. Peace, fam. Ashkenazi. Right now. The majority of Ashkenazi. This is one of their Jewish sites, by the way. The majority of Ashkenazi Jews are descended from prehistoric European women. According to study published today, October the 8th, right? And this is called Genetic Roots of Ashkenazi Jews. Now, according to um, Judaica or Jewish law, they pass their birthright through the father lineage. Why are they bringing up the mother lineage here, right? Why are they bringing up the mother's lineage when they talking about the Ashkenazi. Because they have to be. Listen now look. While the Jewish religion began in the Near East. And the Ashkenazi Jews were believed to have origins. In the early indigenous tribes of this region. New evidence from mitochondrial DNA. Which passed on exclusively from mother to child. Suggests that female ancestors of most modern Ashkenazi Jews converted to Judaism 
in the northern Mediterranean around 2,000 years ago and later in West and Central Europe, right? The new findings contradict previous assertions that Ashkenazi mitochondrial lineage originated in the Near East and for mass conversions of Judaism in the Khazar Kingdom, an empire in the North Caucasus region between Europe and Asia lasted from the 7th to the 11th century whose leaders adopted Judaism. Now notice it said they adopted Judaism. That means they're not born into this tribe. We're talking Ashkenazi, right? I'm going to show you where they come from. And they're, they're telling you where they come from right here. <clears throat> we found that most of the maternal lineages don't trace to the North Caucasus, which would be a proxy for the Khazarians, which would mean this would be a backdoor entrance into the world stage as a Khazarian Jew, but it's not matching is what they're saying. Or the Near East, but most of them emanate from Europe. So they didn't even classify the Caucasus as Europe. <clears throat> Said co-author Martin Richardson, the archaeogeneticist of the University of Huddersfield in the UK. Now, this is all they science is saying this. I'm just pointing it out to y'all. Look, the Ashkenazi Jew make up the majority of the Jews today and most re recently have ancestry in Central or Eastern Europe. Previous work has demonstrated that just for four mitochondrial types passed down from four mothers account for 40% of variation in Ashkenazi Jews' mitochondrial DNA, and some researchers have published evidence of Near Eastern origins for the Ashkenazi mitochondrial types. Now, this is saying they're tracking the, the Ashkenazi through the mother line. That mean they're not European. That mean they're not European. Because the only patriarchal lineages that came through the Abrahamic lineages are in, in Europe, in Islam. The Hebrews are not supposed to be matriarchal or are they? Because it tells you in Genesis to leave your mother and father and to cling to your wife. Now, to further investigate the matrilineal lines of Ashkenazi Jews, Richards and colleagues looked at mitochondrial genome sequences in living Jews and nine Jews from the Near East Europe and the Caucasus. Based on the results, the team concluded that in contrast to the evidence for many Ashkenazi males whose Y chromosome DNA suggests likely origin of the Near East, the female lineage of Ashkenazi Jews have substantial ancestry in Europe. Now, I told y'all that when they invaded as Byzantine kings and conquered Spain is when they began to use the skin-based system that they had developed under Alexander when they sent him into um, India to get the blueprints from the caste system. The caste system is the origin of what you call skin-based racism but it was based off socioeconomics and um, family talents and skills. Here they want to base it off skin, and they call it white supremacy. It's a military jock. These are your uh, Ashkenazi. Now, there's another group of so-called Jew called Khazarians. Now, this is where it gets thick, because these is the main Zionists behind the plot right here. So I want y'all to see this good and clear. It says Khazarians were Turkic. Now remember I told you that they came as Byzantine kings. Byzantium Empire was a Turkish empire. The Moors, the Bays, come out of the Turkish empire. Remember I showed y'all the other day the flag of the Bays, the red, yellow, and orange flag that they concealed because if you find that out, you will know who running shit. Now, origin, the Khazarians were a Turkic people who originated in Central Asia. The earliest history of the Khazars in southern Russia prior to the middle of the 6th century is hidden in obscurity. they telling you it's hidden. From about 550 to 630, the Khazars were part of Western Turkish Empire ruled by the Celestial Blue Turks. This right here, pay attention. 
Celestial Blue Turks. They calling them aliens, blue aliens. That's what they telling you that landed in Turkey. Now look at the map. This area right, this is the Byzantine Empire right here. Right, as you look at it. And then this is the domain of the Khazarian. Right, right here. See the six-point star right there? Look where the, uh, the cross here, the Islamic here. This is Hungary up here. This was the Holy Roman Empire. Here's Italy here. And Rome is here. The Khazarians were bankers that lent money to kings and emperors in this time frame that we're looking at. They are the ones who bankrolled the rise of Rome here under the Holy Roman Empire, right? Their adversaries was Greece. And the Greeks were um, who Alexander rose up under. Alexander was a plant, the same as George Washington, the same as Mohammed Karzai, because they needed him to perform a function, and the only military at the time that was strong enough to do it was the Greek that was a non-African.